This is going to be a quick unboxing for Fairy Loot for February of 2020. Uh, this is actually my first box from Fairy Loot, so bear with me because I've never ordered anything from them before. So let's just get in here and see what it's like. This box was pretty full, so I think there's some big items in here. Alright, this is the first thing to come out of the box. Serpent and Dove Ceramic Mug, designed by... This looks like Mer Wild Danko and Tara T-J-A-H. Not sure how you're supposed to really say that or if it's just a abbreviation here. Let's take a look. See what this is like. Here we go. Wow, that is actually really nice. Wow, okay. So that's our first item. Like we have a little print here. Rule Breakers. That's the spoiler card. That tells you everything that's in the box. We have Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups. This almost look like tarot cards? Maybe? Said I've never got a fairy loot box before, so that might mean something to people who have before. Oh, looks like some bookmarks. The books we love, they love us back. Just as we mark our places in the pages, those pages leave their marks on us. J. Kristoff. Double-sided. Oh, awesome. Never flinch, never fear, and never ever forget. I happen to be a Big fan of that series. It's a great series. We have a little, it's like some kind of a art print here. Not sure what that's from. Might actually be from this month's book. I'll have to look on the sheet. Looks like it got a little bent up here, but I can probably, I can probably flatten it out. I heard a lot of people's got a little bit banged up and travel. Oh, this is cool. One does not simply walk into Mordor. Mordor luggage tag. I happen to be a Lord of the Rings fan, so that is excellent. We have oops, something pretty big here. This is, well, whatever it is, it's huge. I'll take a look, back up for a second so I can pull this out and see what it is. I think it's just a scarf. Now that's basically the print that's on it. It's just a repeat pattern over and over and over. I think it's a scarf. Might be, it might be a tapestry. I'll have to, I'll have to look. It's a little large to be a scarf, I think. We have a couple more things, I think. We've got Strawberry Prosecco Lip Balm. That's interesting. And got Too Few Centuries, Too Many Books. Looks like a sticker. Got a little bent up as well. And that looks like it's everything that was in the box, except for this month's book, which they actually put it in a little sleeve here. All right, let's see. Okay, the fairy scoop, I guess they put their little monthly catalog in with the book. Let's 
it's definitely much simpler and more compact than the Owl Crate one I'm used to. Oh, there's actually a lot more stuff in here. There's a theme of the month rule breakers bookmark in here. There's a lot of stuff in this box. I'm actually really surprised. This looks like a print. That's probably based on this month's book. Yep. That's what that is. And then there's looks like another Oh, it looks like a set of postcards. That's really neat. And then we have Shadows Between Us. It looks like they have a special cover for this. Pull out a little bit. I know the regular cover is uh, red and black, so it looks like they have their own special cover for the book. And I think the inside, yeah, there's a special, like a inside the dust jacket on the cover and the spine is actually foiled I believe is what they call that and then there's artwork inside the dust jacket that's actually pretty nice this is a great copy I think it's signed as well let me pull this open bear with me it's my first one from this company, so I'm not really quite sure how they do things. Hmm. I thought it was signed, but I guess maybe it's not, because I don't see a... Oh, maybe that's the signature right there. I bet that's it. There you go. Okay, so it is signed. And that's everything that was inside the box. I'm just going to take a look at this spoiler card and make sure I described everything. Let's see. Yep. Bookish Lip Balm made exclusively for fairy loot by the amazing Little Heart Gifts. Strawberry Prosecco inspired by Mala... Oh boy, I'm not going to get this right. Mala Chayas from Wicked Saints. Wicked Saints is actually a book I have that I have not gotten to yet. Uh, let's see. They also have... Okay, the foiled scarf. This is actually a scarf, which was inspired by Sorcery of Thorns. Okay, so that's what that was. The Serpent and Dove mug, which that was a little easier to identify. Uh, we Hunt the Flame art print. Okay, so I suppose that must be... That must be this one. That's probably what that was. Uh, luggage tag, that was self-explanatory. Foil Bookmarks by J. Kristoff, inspired by the Nevernight series. That was these two guys here. And tarot cards. They were tarot cards. Okay. Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups, inspired by St Strange the Dreamer. Okay, that's why I was not familiar with those, because that's another one that I haven't read yet. Okay, so that's what everything was. They didn't say anything. Okay. Okay, the foil bookmarks and the sticker. I don't think they said anything on here about the postcards. Hmm. That's odd. But I'll have to look through in more depth. But that was everything that was in the box. This is my first fairy loot box, and I'm really impressed. These are all nice items. They're useful items. They're really pretty and well-designed. The artwork is great. I mean... Silly thing, but I absolutely love these bookmarks. I think they're great, and I love that series. Yeah, so that's that's everything that was in the box. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.